There are many theories of flight, and they can be divided into four groups with different combinations of trivial and correct, including negations. For so-called uneducated, we have trivial theories which may be correct or incorrect. For so-called educated, we have non-trivial theories which may be correct or incorrect. A trivial theory is a theory which looks like a theory but has no real content and value, like a tautology, saying nothing, as saying it rains when raindrops are falling. Let us now focus on one to three collecting incorrect or trivial theories in order to get perspective on the new theory of light as the only real scientific theory as a non-trivial and correct theory. We start with some well-known trivial and correct theories. A wing generates lift because the pressure is lower on the upper surface than on the lower surface of the wing. Lift is generated by higher velocity above than below the wing. Lift is generated as a reaction by Newton's third law from diverting air downwards in so-called downwash. These statements are correct but trivial as long as it is not explained why the pressure is lower and the velocity higher or why a wing generates downwash. The American Space Administration, NASA, is helpful to list on its website several trivial and incorrect theories, including the well-known longer path theory, the skipping stone theory going back to Newton, and the Venturi theory. The theory presented in advanced textbooks and university education is the so-called circulation theory by Kutta and Sokovsky, which represents a non-trivial but incorrect theory, as we shall now see. The kutta sokovsky theory came out in 1904 as a reaction to the demonstration in 1903 by the Wright brothers that powered heavier-than-air flight is possible. The undeniable large lift of the wing needed a scientific explanation and Kutta and Sokovsky came up with one. This gave Sokovsky the role of father of Russian aerodynamics. What Kutta and Sokovsky came up with was the so-called circulation theory based on the following idea. Consider a section through the flow around a circular cylinder with symmetric flow above and below, illustrated at top left, and assume that for some reason, still to justify, the symmetric flow is modified by a large-scale rotating flow around the cylinder section, making the flow unsymmetrical, with high velocity above and low velocity below. Then, by Bernoulli's law, the pressure would be lower above and an upward lift force would be generated. Kutta and Zukowski thus made the correct observation that if there is rotating flow or circulation around the wing section, then there is lift. But then Kutta and Zukowski incorrectly concluded that since lift is observed, there must be circulation around the wing section. But this is one of Aristotle's logical fallacies of confirming the assumption by observing the consequence. The incorrect conclusion of circulation then asked for a physical mechanism generating circulation, and Kutta and Zukowski then suggested that circulation maybe could be an effect of a sharp trailing edge without, however, explaining how. Nevertheless, this became the mantra of the aerodynamics of the 20th century, with the effect that airfoils are assumed to have a sharp trailing edge in order to generate lift even if the trailing edge of a real airfoil of a real airplane observed to generate lift is not sharp but rounded or blunt. But it was never explained how a sharp trailing edge generates circulation and lift and the new theory shows that lift is generated by a rounded or blunt edge by 3D rotational separation and not by large-scale circulation around the wing section. 
but circulation theory of lift feels textbooks as the most advanced non-trivial theory for educated as illustrated in the following pictures. But circulation theory is incorrect. We have now covered the spectrum 1 to 3 of trivial or incorrect theories of light, and what remains is 4, the new theory as non-trivial and correct.